Hi everybody, my name is Mo Espinosa, also known as Drumcell. I'm here with DJS Pro Audio and Lighting, and I'm going to be using Tractor Scratch Control Vinyl today with Native Instruments Tractor DJ Studio software um, to show you some of the really cool features that can allow you to take your DJing skills to a more innovative place. The first thing that I want to cover is uh, basically showing you guys how you can hook up the Native Instruments Audio 8 DJ box to your mixer with the turntables. That way, um, you can actually use them with the software. Um, Native Instruments came out with an extremely innovative way of using something that we call multi-core cables, which is this system right here. Um, the multi-core cable is a completely passive audio cable that allows you to um, use the turntables or CDJs, whatever way you're using them, um, without the laptop being plugged in. Um, the problem with some of the DVS technology in the past was if a power with uh, the hardware would go out, then all the sound in the club would totally turn off. These cables are 100% completely passive, and it's an extremely easy way to hook up. Um, on the side where your turntables connect, you can actually see on the cables itself, we have them labeled. Um, these are our female inputs for player turntables or CD, labeled TTCD. And that's basically so your CDJs or your vinyl turntables will plug into these female parts. And you can actually see how that goes in and splits Y into these two different cables here. Now, these two cables are male. This one is labeled mixer turntable CD, meaning that this is going to plug into the phono inputs of your uh, DJ mixer. And this cable is labeled mixer line in, which would go into the line in input of your turntable. And the reason why you want to do that is so that when you're DJing, if you want to switch back to a regular phono record or a regular CD, all you need to do is hit the switch on your mixer to switch it over from phono input to line input. That way you can go back and forth. Um, on the other end here, uh, basically, this is the part that connects to your Audio 8. And uh, they're color-coded for easy connection. For instance, if I pull these out, you can see that we have the red, black, white, and yellow here. And that's exactly what you have on these cables right here on this side. So easily just go red to red, black to black, yellow to yellow, and white to white. And you have the left deck already set up. And all you need to do is the same thing for the right deck. Now you'll notice in the middle of the core cables itself, you have this large XLR input. And this is actually really cool because if you're a type of DJ that travels back and forth from, um, you know, from your home system to the club system, you can actually go out and buy these. And these will actually work with anything. And you can have this plugged into your DJ mixer and leave it inside the club natively. And although this side of the cable is not connected to anything, it doesn't affect the audio routing of anything going on inside the DJ system in the club. Any DJ can go ahead and play inside of anything without having to um, switch out cables and unplug stuff from the back of your mixer and so on and so on. Now this side you can keep connected um, to, your, uh, to your audio 8 right here. So it's still plugged into the Audio 8, it's just not missing. So when you come to the club, instead of having to rip out a bunch of RCA cables from the back of your mixer, all you need to do is walk in, you grab your side of the XLR and the side that's natively already installed inside your DJ mixer inside the club, what you're going to have to do is grab both ends of your XLR cables and plug them in like so. And it's just an easy setup. You just go ahead and snap in and you're ready to go. So as for the Audio 8 DJ box itself, um, this is an extremely sturdy piece of hardware. Um, it's a really great audio interface. It's full-blown ASIO core audio sound card. It's 24-bit 96 kilohertz. Eight inputs, eight outputs that could be used as an audio interface with just about any other application you're using. So it serves um, for multiple purposes, not only just for Tractor DJ Studio, but if you're a home producer and you're using stuff like Cubase or Reason or something like that, you can go ahead and use the audio interface for that too. The really cool thing about the interface is that you have LED lights that show you the ins and outputs of everything going on in the system. So if you're at the club and you need some troubleshooting, for instance, for whatever reason, maybe the right deck's not calibrating properly, you can easily look at the interface and make sure that the interface is actually receiving a valid um, input. Um, the interface also has a built-in MIDI interface, so you have in MIDI ins and outs on the system, as well as this really cool hook for your USB cable, which actually comes in a lot more handy than you'd possibly think, because I can't recall how many times I've been DJing at shows and people would walk by and just kick the USB cable right out of the box. With this hook here, USB cables firmly already set in and it will never actually come out. So this concludes the end of the tutorial for the Audio 8 multi-core cable setup. Make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the tutorial.